The symposium to me has been sort of one of the hallmark experiences that I've had while being here, both as a student and now sort of on the other side of the, of the wall. Um, because it brings together a cross-section of the interagency, it brings together people from across DOD, every service, it brings together international military counterparts and, and colleagues, it brings together USAID, um, Department of Homeland Security, Department of State, all of whom have a mandate to work on WPS and implement WPS in a cooperative interagency manner, and it's an opportunity to sort of assess where we're at, what we need to do and where we're going, and how best to get there. And it also, I think, is a good opportunity for us to reflect as a broader interagency on how WPS can impact us, both positively and negatively. Where are the challenges? Where are the opportunities? And it just gives us an opportunity to look more globally at the world that we're facing, the wars that we're currently embroiled in, and potentially more in the horizon, and how adopting a gender perspective or adopting a broader global view can really be an asset and a tool to making sure that we have success and victory in those future engagements and the ones that we're currently embroiled in. Um, I think the only thing that I'd like to add is that everyone here at the Naval War College is really fortunate to have such a, um, a great resource in Dr. Syra Yamin and the Women, Peace and Security Working Group that's here at this institution, working really hard to help adopt a, a holistic perspective and view of Women, Peace and Security and finding meaningful ways to embed it into the curriculum because it is just that. It's only a framework. It's just another way of perceiving the world. It's another way of interpreting information. It's not meant to be seen as sort of an additional burden or something to do on the agenda or a to-do list. It's just another way in which we can assess information, understand the world that we're moving through and impacting, and really have a full set of information in front of us when we're choosing to take actions that could cost us blood and treasure. Um, and when dipl diplomacy fails, you know, these may be times when WPS really matters. Um, or even when diplomacy succeeds, it's just a, an additional perspective and a way that I think we have a full set of information, which I know for myself as a leader, I don't like making decisions without as much information as possible. And if I automatically know that 50% or more of the information that could inform my decision is absent, am I really making the best type of a decision? And that's all I really want to convey is that WPS is an, is an asset, it's a tool, it doesn't require anything other than to just consider who's at your table, who do you need to hear from, and making sure all those voices are there and present and participating.